I honestly never thought I would be making this video. Today, we are inside a Barlow's account. For those who don't know, Barlow's is an account with one of the highest powers in the game, with 1.2 billion CL power right now. And since this account is now for sale, I am very happy to be able to make a video about this account before it goes away to other owner. So without further ado, let's go and check Barlow's account. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today over here as we already have seen Barlow's account inside Barlow's account Let's meet all the secrets that this account has before it goes away. Okay, maybe not all the secrets But at least some of them first of all if we go over here to the rankings right now Barlow's is still the number one account in the whole English version of Pokelem. And if we go over here and check the base stats, look at this. So it's above 1 million, it's 1.1 million fineness over here with 2.1k max HP or 1.6k speed. 1,600% speed on home furniture. It's insane. Of course, we not only care about the speed, but all of these other stats. Check that out. It's, uh, it's actually crazy. And if we go over here inside home, I am surprised that he's using this base and not uh, a more beautiful base. Let's go and check how many... Ah, look at this. Like 19 dolls, 18 of those, 18 of those. Let's actually see the Regirock. I mean, not Regirock, I believe it's Registeel ones. Registeel ones are like very... Holy, of course he has a lot of speed. He has like 43 of those Registeel dolls. Like, holy. And of course, like a lot of other things. We have like uh, some Snorlax from events, some of those Pikachus. I remember seeing those things on the events. Like, very cool, very nice. With 33 Porygon Zs as well over here that also provide speed. Very nice. Uh, dolls are the things that we usually see the most, uh, like from the events that provide the most stats. Of course, there's also other items like these crown cups, these uh, lightning cups, and also these banners over here or celebration screens in the uh, in this case, there's a lot of things over here. Look at this! 200, 228. Like crazy, crazy amount of furniture over here. And of course, we can see all of that from just the stats over there. But it's crazy to see the, like that big amount of just furniture over there in this account. And of course, in an account that has over 60 Pokemon that are above 10 million power. 60 Pokemon above 10 million power. Of course, this account needs a lot of base stats. And if we go and scroll down and like see what is the lowest power possible around here, it's around 4 million. Yeah, exactly. Around 4 million for the lowest power. And since we have like Sword and Shield black and white, Let's see, what is the lowest? Because uh, for those who already know, like the team statues and stuff like that, they provide you a lot of stats for ice types, steel types. Let's see, what is the lowest steel type that we have over here? Actually, I kind of want to look at the level one instead of like because the lowest steel types and ice types, usually they are already at level 100. I want to look at the level one. Level one ocean devil with no fusion, nothing at all but it has some strike cards over here. I want to believe that this was a little bit forgotten, these strike cards, so I guess we are going to look at some other Pokemon, but even though, keeping in mind that even though it has these strike cards over here, uh, a strike card on a level one, it won't make that big of a difference, really. If I go over here, for example, look at the physical defense. It ends on 688. If I go over here and click on physical defense, just one, uh, just one, yes, like that. 688 doesn't change because like the strike cards works at, uh, according to your level as well. So if you are level one with intimacy zero, you will not see much change. Like if I put more strike cards, of course it will change. But just so that you know that this 1k speed, it's actually doesn't have almost any impact on the speed over here. Since like if we go and look at the other ones, even though they are level 100, uh, they usually don't have like that big increase on speed just because of the level. So 63k speed, base speed, on the ice type Pokemon. And if I change the steel type, 
61k speed imagining having 60k speed on basically any pokemon that you want just as a start without strike cards without uh, without gear without anything at all it's crazy and of course comparing that 60k speed to his actually base speed on his big pokemon we have 5.4 million speed almost at 5.5 .5. And over here on white, we have 5.3, almost 5.4 million speed. Keeping in mind that these speeds are outside of battle. So in battle, this big boy will actually just be a much better. And of course, taking a look at the gears, I would not expect less from this account. Like you have all the ho-ho gears that you might want or ever, ever will need. And also Thunder Gear on the right place. It's not maxed out yet since the max level is being 100 on each piece. Like we have 100 on the boot already. But of course, this is a thing that takes time. And of course, if you want to invest your resources smartly, he was probably investing on furniture and strike cards and not actually spending his books on powering up his gears to 100 which is of course a smart move even though of course i'm not saying that he never spent items like he never spent resources on powering up those gears he must have he must have for sure uh because like nobody can just have had like such a high level gears even though the game mode has been uh out for so long i don't think anybody could naturally like have like two maxed out or even three technically maxed out of those set and when i say maxed out i mean unlocking all the abilities on those gears so we have three pokemons with cinnabar sets that already have all of the extra abilities unlocked and of course one of the biggest things that of course make these pokemons able to exist in the english version and what i mean by this is actually the power since we have a 460 million basically so 459 million like resonance white uh, like the number is so big that i'm my brain is trying to process this and 446 a million sword there's already players with higher values than this because this account was once the greatest account in pokeland uh, but since Bartolos has stopped playing he's trying to sell right now we have carlos over here with 1.3 billion this is arena power so this is basically his top three pokemon which is insane so this carlos is which we used to be vx now he's just <laughs> carlos i guess is uh uh yeah um well he i i wonder what kind of pokemons does he have like what is the power of it of his big boys probably at around 500 each uh, minimum but yes besides all of the gears keeping in mind that it has of course a ton of gems that also gives him stats directly and of course strike cards 107,000 strike stats directly into this pokemon and on sword 150,000 strike stats it's actually insane just to give you guys an idea of how many strike cards are needed each strike card like each uh, point that you need to put over here is 30 strike cards so it's 30 times one 150,000 that's basically it that's 4.5 million strike cards that were used just on this pokemon it's insane and not just that like if you, we go over here to the backpack and we ser search for strike cards he don't he didn't use all of his strike cards he still has 469,000 strike cards so whoever wants to buy this account uh he will still have a lot of room to improve but since we are talking about the bag let's actually see what this kind of player actually has on his bag because some of you might think like oh i mean he's just a rich guy he's probably lazy doesn't do like his game mods and stuff but yo keeping in mind that even the highest power players they have to keep up doing their stuff so that they can actually stay at the top the top of course money mat matters a lot but if you don't keep up doing all of the other things i mean everything adds up for example look at this 4k of those hidden skills you don't 
ever need hidden skills again or gold jewelry. I mean, it's okay. But we have, for example, 232 chests with inherit stones. You will never, ever have a problem with inherit stones ever again. Actually, I mean, you only need inherit stones for the ribbon, everything else you already have over here on the account. And even on the dungeon packs, 3k dungeon packs, and these are the, the dungeon packs from the cross server team. And of course, one of the best resources for this kind of account that you get from the cross server team is actually vit. It's breath, it's things that you can use to get some vit so that in the specific events where you can benefit from it, you can actually use the vit. And we already have 561 breads over here. And keeping in mind that each bread gives you 30 vit, I, I mean, really easy math over here. 16,000, 16.8k vit that you have over here that you can use to any event. And of course, when I say you, uh, what I mean is whoever gets this account, of course. It's, it's for sale right now, so anybody with some money, actually can get it and when i say some money it's actually for sale right now at 2.5k usd so he lowered the price because he really wants to leave the game and really wants to sell the account but now i was looking over here at these overlord stickers not just overlord stickers that he has also has some resonance stickers over here and i actually asked them like uh, yo where did you get all of these resonance stickers i i refuse to believe that this was like clicking a button by accident, like maybe 10, yes, it's understandable, you can click a button by accident by 10. These ones were, were on an event recently, so you would get this for free, but like 400, 100, like what, what happened over here? And then he reminded me that there was an event over here on the recharge gift that you could actually choose resonance stickers. So a lot of players, like not a lot of players, but the ones who would recharge back in the day, they now have like resonance stickers in their bags doing nothing, just like this account has right now. At least some of the Overlord stickers are recyclable, so in the future, if there's any good recyclable, cycle event those overlord stickers will actually be very useful and of course i say this because from the recycle event that exists right now he already has everything and look at this this doll is actually very cool i always enjoyed the charizard x but let's go back to the back shall we we even have some dynamax times over there but uh, i believe that could be an accident or something else that i might not be remembering but he has a lot of stuff over here look at this 865 daily league packages this can gives you diamonds 50k super 15k super chests holy okay if there's a recycle event whoever gets this account is ready for any recycle event because super chest gives you a lot of points and recycle of course having some other resources being stacked up over here so that whoever gets the account is free to use them on whatever pokemon they want to power up next even having almost 10k <laughs> of these card packs holy i mean not much else going on over here we have like 1.4k tna splicers which can be also good for a recycle event and we still have deli bird transport coupons this is good to get those uni shards let's go and like there is a lot of resources actually a lot of of resources there's a lot of things over here taking a look at his pokedex let me see what pokemons does he i mean it's more like taking a look at what pokemons he does not have since related to resonance you have basically every relevant resonance over here resonance hoho -ho is a resonance that was like very recent so it's normal that he doesn't have since his account was already on sale uh when this uh, resonance came out having like basically every overlord that can be useful over here even having the overlord hoopa uh i, I mean overlord hoopa is not actually useful in the meta but you know it's always nice to have one or even if you have an ultra necrozma and somebody seems to be very mad at an Italian Danny. And honestly, whoever gets this account, if they ever want to play Ultra Necrozma, 
you even have a double star held item like come on why not and of course i didn't i wasn't taking a look at the held items you have double star held items for your main pokemon so why would you not have and of course if there's any pokemon that you need to use you have like a lot of already perfect pokemon over here and for some reason 678 of those discs and 1k of the other ones you have more than enough to get like any of those future pokemons that might need a skill breakthrough and i personally always find it beautiful when i come over here to a field and i see golden skills golden skills this is not meaning of money this is meaning of dedication and how much time you have spent like since when you have been doing this because these things i don't believe like people get this from the event but they do get this over time you can only do this once a day you cannot buy extra chances with diamonds this is according to how much time you have played and of course if we come and take a look at his z rings he already completed all the z rings and now he's on to the bracelets which is also from the recycle events that he will get more materials to power up these bracelets over here but uh, it's basically almost done we have one two three bracelets already completed and this one is the hardest one this one takes a lot of resources because if we come over here it's like 43 of those green things to level up it will be more expensive later this one is taking like already 41 and it's only level 78 it will only get more expensive so it's already very nice uh, progress and uh, there's not many accounts with all the eight rings already maxed out of course the account is not perfect there are still some things that you can improve like for example the pokemon atlas over here since the Sinnoh album over here is still a little bit low but all the things come with time and since he has been trying to sell for such a long time it's normal that he would not dedicate as much time to the game anymore but nevertheless an amazing account really i wish i would have this base power at least i, I don't want this amount of strike cards but i would want the base power at least like having over 60 pokemon with a minimum of 10 million power and the minimum power being 4 million power uh, it's just amazing well this is it i hope you enjoyed it's not every day that we can see the inside of an account that is rank one in furniture uh probably not for so long but let's let's hope this account just gets sold and hopefully the new owner will continue the legacy of this account oh and if you know anybody interested in buying this account just tell them to message me still hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video